guys. I'm Beth Ultimus with the Canandaigua Lake Watershed Education Program. And I've been out here in Briggs Gully at the Coming Nature Center today collecting some aquatic macro invertebrates. Now Briggs Gully is a very high quality stream, which means it has nice, clean, highly oxygenated flowing water. And so it's home to a lot of really neat, sensitive macro invertebrates. So I'd like to show you one of them that I found today. So here we have a golden stonefly. And you can see it has that beautiful marking of yellow and black. And that is its exoskeleton. And as this stonefly grows, from once it hatches from its egg and spends a few years growing in the water, every time it grows, it will actually molt or shed that exoskeleton and grow a new one. So occasionally you'll see some exoskeletons from stoneflies left behind, but this is definitely one of the more dramatically marked aquatic macroinvertebrates in our waters. They just have two tails at the ends of their bodies. And if you notice the tail emerges from the abdomen at two different points. So each tail comes out from the abdomen at two different points, which is in contrast to say a mayfly where its tails come out as a cluster from one point. And if you can ever catch a glimpse of the underside of a stonefly, you'll notice it has gills on the underside of its abdomen. That's the bottom portion right before the tail. And those gills will be fluttering away trying to get oxygen from the water. So that's just one of the aquatic macroinvertebrates I collected here in Briggs Gully today. But I collected a whole lot of other types. So there's a lot of abundance and diversity of aquatic macroinvertebrates here in Briggs Gully. And that's because this is a very high quality stream. So it has a lot of oxygen, it's got nice cool waters, there's not a lot of impact or pollution getting into it. So a lot of the macroinvertebrates I found in here today, like the one I showed you, are very sensitive, which means they can only live in high quality water like this. So we're fortunate that we have streams like this here in our region that support a great abundance and diversity of aquatic macroinvertebrates. Thanks for watching.